Okay, hello, you welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to find the anti derivative of 1 over 1 plus x squared and then the square of that in the denominator, right? Okay, so this is a fraction, and as you can see, the denominator is irreducible quadratic, okay? That is 1 plus x squared, it doesn't have um, real factors, right? And that's not enough, that, or that's not all, the denominator has been squared again. So if we want to do this, that means we're going to have maybe aquatic, that's aquatic um, polynomial at the bottom. And since it's a repeated factor, we can, you know, re uh, set it up and then do some work on it. But I don't think this is um, decomposable, but if it is, we can just go ahead and try it using partial fraction decomposition, right? But I'm going to use something else. Keep in mind, we have 1 plus x squared at the bottom, right? Whenever we have an integral of something of that form, but in that case, this square is not always there. We usually make use of tangent um, substitution. That is a trick sub. So I'm still going to do something similar. I'm still going to do the same thing here, right? Even when the functions are different. So let's just start off with, let's just say that we should let um, x be tangent of theta. Okay? So if that is the case, that means that the derivative of that with respect to theta will be secant squared of theta. Okay? And then we put the, the theta over here. Now, keep in mind that x is said to be tangent of theta. So, from there, we can try to make theta the subject of formula. And if we do that, we're going to have um, tangent, square, tangent inverse of both sides, right? That means theta will be the inverse tangent of x. Okay, very nice. And also notice, if x is tangent of theta, okay? And if you look at that on a, a right angle triangle, um where this is the right angle and then this is the theta tangent of an angle gives you x take note x can be written as x over one right tangent of theta is x over one that is because it's opposite over adjacent to the angle and then if that is the case what does that say about the hypotenuse side well the hypotenuse side will be the the square the sum of the squares of the other two sides so you square one plus the square of x okay very nice and that's it all right uh, let me put a little box here. I may, I may need it. Okay. Alright, let's see what we've got. So, let's replace, let's put this all back into the integral. We're going to have 1 over, well, 1 plus x squared, right? 1 plus, well, what is x? x is said to be tangent of theta. So, we're going to square tan theta. Right? And then we put that all raised to power 2. And then dx. Well, in place of dx, we're going to put second square of theta d theta, right? So, that will be second squared of theta d theta okay that's nice and this is going to be equal to uh let's put the second square of theta at the top right okay so you notice that one plus tangent squared of theta is secant squared of theta from trig identities all right so inside here we're going to have secant squared of theta all right and then we're going to raise the second square of theta to power two so that will be secant to the fourth power of theta this will cancel out with that, right? So maybe let me put this down as secant to the fourth power of theta. And then we put the d theta over here. So you notice, uh, this will cancel out with two of these. We are going to have just secant to the second power of theta at the, at the bottom. And that will be one over secant to the second power of theta, which is the same thing as cosine squared of theta, right? Okay. Cosine squared of theta, d theta. Well, I want you to know that uh, when you have cosine squared of theta cosine to the second power of theta right it is the same thing as one half of um, cosine of two theta plus one right it's the same thing as that one half of cosine to the se se cosine times of two theta that is double angles plus one uh, if you expand this you are going to get that back okay great so that means we're going to replace the whole of that with one half of so I can put the one half out front, right? Uh, one plus, we like one plus cosine of two theta. Uh, then we put the d theta over here. Okay, great. So let's integrate this a little bit and see what we have. So this is one half of. Well, the integral of one over the theta variable is easy. It's just going to give us theta, right? And then the integral of cosine of two theta over the theta variable. Well, uh, you can do use a u sub. You say let u be two theta. When you differentiate that, you're going to have 2 d the theta, right? Then you try to do a change of variable here. The, the anti-derivative of cosine of an angle is positive sine of that same angle, right? 
positive sign of that same angle and in here we have a function of a function so that when you apply the u sub right this is going to become divided by two unlike uh, when you're differentiating you multiply it by the two so this is going to be the antiderivative of that okay very nice now we have this but it is in the theta variable so we need to get back to the x variable that is the original variable started with and to do that that will be by some sort of backward substitution all right uh okay so let's see what we have well we notice that this is places here we have theta so what was theta theta is said to be inverse tangent of x all right so in place of theta i'm going to put in inverse tangent of x okay and then we say plus well notice that sine of 2 theta uh, let me give a little note here sine of 2 theta is the same thing as 2 sine theta cosine theta right so in place of sine 2 theta i'm going to put in 2 sine theta cos theta so if you have 2 sine theta cos theta divided by 2 that means we're just going to have sine of theta times the cosine of theta okay that's just from trigonometric identities anyway you can check that out okay great so you notice that from this right angle triangle right where um theta where, where we said x should be tangent theta so opposite to the angle adjacent and then the hypotenuse side sine of an angle theta will be opposite over hypotenuse right so let me put this down as one half of inverse tangent of x right plus so in place of sine of theta we are going to put in opposite over hypotenuse that is x over that so let me just put it down here x over the square root of one plus x squared and then we are going to multiply that with the cosine of theta well cosine of an angle theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse that is one over the same denominator one plus x squared right okay great so this is going to be one half of so inverse tangent of x is here very nice and then we add that with well we are going to multiply these two out x times one is just going to give us x divided by so the square root this term they are the same right so multiplying them together is just like squaring it that is going to be one plus x squared so as you can see this right here is the anti-derivative of that function because we've successfully changed it to the original variable so this is the anti-derivative of that function all right great okay i think this is nice all right uh please thanks for watching and um uh let me see your comments okay if you enjoyed this video see your comments in the comment section and please do well to subscribe to my channel all right this this is what i did sign of two theta is two sine theta cosine theta all right okay thanks for watching